Hello friends, today we will discuss about types of colloidal dispersion. Basically, colloidal systems are best classified into three groups, lyophilic colloids, lyophobic colloids and association colloids on the basis of the interaction of the particles, molecules or ions of the dispersed phase with the molecules of the dispersion medium. First one is lyophilic colloid. This system contains colloidal particles that interact to an appreciable extent with the dispersion medium. They are also known as solvent loving colloids. Owing to their affinity for the dispersion medium, such materials form colloidal dispersions or soles. These are usually obtained simply by dissolving the material in the solvent being used. It must be noted that a material which forms a lyophilic colloid system in one liquid, example water, may do not so in another liquid, example benzene. Lyophilic colloids are of two types on the basis of solvent system. First, lipophilic colloids, which have non-aqueous or organic dispersion medium. Most lipophilic colloids are organic molecules. Second is hydrophilic colloid which have aqueous solvent as a dispersion medium. In the case of hydrophilic colloids when water is the dispersion medium then it is termed as hydration for example acacia or gelatin in water. Lipophilic colloids lead to solvation that is the attachment of the solvent molecules to the molecules of the dispersed phase. Second type is lyophobic colloids. It is composed of materials that have little attraction, if any, for the dispersion medium. That's why they are also known as solvent hating colloids. Unlike lyophilic colloids, they do not form sheath of solvent around particles. Lyophobic colloids are generally composed of inorganic particles dispersed in water. Unlike lyophilic colloids, special methods are used to prepare lyophobic colloids. These are dispersion method and condensation method. Dispersion method is that in which coarse particles are reduced in size and condensation method in which materials of subcolloidal dimensions are caused to aggregate into particles within the colloidal size range. For example, gold, silver, sulfur, arsenic sulfide, sulfur iodide, these all compounds form lyophobic colloids in respective solvents. Now let's have a look at comparative characteristics of lyophilic and lyophobic colloids. These show more interaction with dispersion medium. Those show less interaction with dispersion medium. These are solvent loving. Those are solvent hating. These are form solvent sheath around particles that is solvation. Those do not form any sheath around particles. These are prepared by simple dissolution method. Those are prepared by special methods like dispersion and condensation methods. The third group in this classification is association colloids. Certain molecules or ions have two distinct regions of opposing solution affinities within the same molecular ion. These are association colloids. These are also known as amphiphiles or surface active agents or surfactants. When present in a liquid at low concentration, the amphiphiles exist separately and are of size of subcolloids. But at higher concentration, these monomers form aggregates whose diameter is of the order of 50 angstrom, so designated as colloidal. These aggregates which contain 50 or more monomers are called missiles. They form a spherical structure and show affinities for two opposing solvents. The concentration of monomers which is required to form a missile is known as the critical missile concentration. The number of monomers 
that aggregate to form a missile is known as the aggregation number of the missile amphiphiles may be anionic cationic nonionic or ampholytic that is zwitterionic in nature and this provides a conventional means of classifying association colloids